Know your marine stuff. Oxillary boiler explosion on MV Manhattan Bridge. The data taken from MABE Safety Bulletin. Pictures are taken from the report just to stimulate the situation and to find the root. Cause of accident. Auxiliary boiler explosion on board the container ship Manhattan Bridge at Felix Stowe Container. Terminal. England resulting in one fatality and one serious injury on the 19th of January 2017. About this incident. At about 23.00 on the 19th of January 2017. An auxiliary boiler furnace explosion occurred in the engine room on board the Japan-registered container ship Manhattan Bridge. As it was berthing alongside a container terminal in Felixstowe, England. Manhattan Bridge's second engineer and an engine room oiler were investigating boiler flame failure. Alarm at the time and were caught by the blast. The oiler suffered severe injuries and died soon after the explosion. The second engineer suffered burn injuries to his face and right arm, which required a skin graft. Events leading up to the accident In the hours leading up to the accident, the auxiliary boiler had cut out several times due to flame or ignition failures, and on each occasion, the fault was investigated and the boiler reset by the second engineer. The boiler explosion occurred while the second engineer and the oiler were trying to restart the boiler burner unit following a flame failure cutout. The force of the explosion blew open the boiler burner unit door. The actual door of boiler burner is shown here. The burners are diffuser into the engine room. The oiler was standing directly in front of burner unit and the second engineer was close by. The damaged air diffuser Following the incident, examination of the boiler fuel system by the burner unit manufacturer. Samples of the MGO being burnt at the time of the accident were taken by the MAB and sent to a laboratory for analysis. The tests found that fuel had a CFPP. Cold filter plugging point of 14 degrees Celsius and a pore point of less than minus 9 degrees Celsius, requiring a minimum fuel operating temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. Ambient air temperature at Felixstowe on the 19th of January 2017 was about 4 degrees Celsius, low enough for wax formation. The cloud point of the fuel could not be obtained because the test samples had a dark appearance, which was attributed to the mixing of residual HFO deposits with the MGO in the system pipework. Safety issues Industry reports indicate an increased incidence of boiler and marine diesel engine. Performance problems in colder waters following the implementation of the more stringent sulfur emissions limit. This has been attributed to the increased paraffin content found in some low sulfur distillate fuels (MGOs) and the subsequent formation of waxy deposits.
In filters and pipework can cause intermittent and incomplete combustion to the point of flame. Failure The paraffin content of MGOs varies globally due to the regional composition of crude oil and variation in refinery processes. There are three measurable stages in the waxing process for distillate fuel. These are CP, CFPP and PP. CP equals cloud point. CFPP equals cold filter plugging point. PP equals pour point. The first discernible stage, CP, is defined as the temperature at which wax crystals start to visibly form in the fuel and a transparent fuel becomes cloudy or hazy. The CFPP is the lowest temperature where the fuel of a set volume drawn by vacuum through a standardized filter, 45 micron, within a specified time, 60 seconds, still continues to flow. The PP is the lowest temperature at which the fuel will continue to flow when cooled. The PP does not provide any indication of the temperature at which filtration issues may occur. What happened at MV Manhattan Bridge? Prior to March 2017, the ISO 8217 standard, often used by the shipping industry as the baseline specification when ordering and testing fuel oil bunkers, focused on PP and does not include test specifications for CP or CFPP. As a consequence, the MGO loaded on board Manhattan Bridge in Rotterdam was not subject to CP or CFPP testing. Safety Lessons It is essential that vessel operators carefully consider anticipated ambient air and sea temperature. That will be experienced during the voyage when purchasing low sulfur MGO bunkers. Such information should be used to identify the required cold flow characteristics of the fuel being supplied using CP and CFPP as key metrics. When this is impractical, it is important to establish the CP and CFPP of the fuels carried on board through sample testing. When operating in cold climates, the risk of waxy residue developing in the vessel's fuel lines can be controlled by 1. Closely monitoring the visual appearance of low-sulfur MGO bunkers for signs of wax precipitation. 2. Conducting regular fuel filter inspections and close monitoring of fuel system pressures. 3. Maintaining the temperature of the low sulfur MGO in the vessels, tanks and the pipework above the CP and CFPP temperatures to avoid the possibility of filter blocking. The addition of cold flow improver chemicals to the low sulfur MGO in the vessel storage tanks should only be considered as a last resort under the strict guidance of an additive supplier. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel.